Um, my final uh, question is around the, the mental side of the game and, and our young kids these days push too hard. Um, without doubt, um, they, they are, there's always has been the pushy parent, um, but I think now so with the, the riches and what's available um, through success um, for kids coming through um, in, in various sports now, um, there's, a, there's a hell of a lot of uh, money and, 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 and rewards in, in sports. So I think um, the mental side has increased on that individual, especially the younger individuals growing up. And at the same time, there's more and more pushy parents around, I think, who in a way are trying to live their dreams through their kids and maybe to the detriment of their, of their kids. Um, so I think that's one of the real challenges as a, as a parent is to understand that you know, you've got to let your kid grow and, and grow in his own time and take his own, find his own path. Um, you know, your time has come and gone as a, as a parent if you were wanting to be a sports person or whatever. We all want what's best for our kids, but your kids need to find that themselves and often a, a bit of love and encouragement will maybe go a lot further than uh, that, that sort of pushy parent attitude. Um, but definitely there is a lot of pressure on kids coming through the sport these days. And I think that's why, um, you know, through my answers here, I think I've sort of mentioned the, the importance of making sure you're enjoying what you're doing, you're having fun with your, your teammates or your peers and managing to keep life in some sort of perspective, you know, have some interests outside of your, your individual sport um, that you can fall back on or go and see where you can take yourself away from the game. and and keep that connection with the, the outside world, you know, not just in that sporting bubble, because, you know, you'll have people around you that are making their living out of you as well. So it's not only the parent that's putting you under pressure, there's quite often other people in in that, building that pressure in that bubble. Um, so, and it can take you a long time to, to understand that. Um, and mentally, I remember, I think one of the, obviously the, one of the hardest things is um, the, the sort of pressure of expectancy or, and, and the coping with the fear of, fear of failure. And one thing I, I learned from um, through a period that where I was, was struggling was I went and saw this, uh, this gentleman I had been told about. And at the end of our, our first session, he's, he, he's challenged me to find someone outside of my sort of inner circle um, to go and speak to and bring a conversation up and basically discuss um, failing and I said yeah no problem and I could I, I, I really struggled to I knew I was going to speak to you straight away but it took me a, a good couple of weeks to actually get to him to in a way be brave enough and face having that conversation um, but the relief I had once I started talking to him about it and realized that he wasn't didn't even really care or believe in what I was saying and that I'd, I'd failed but the relief it gave me um you know it was amazing I couldn't it, it was it was really weird reaction on my part afterwards when I reflected on it um and the gentleman who made me do that his his theory was that until I could verbally or or speak to someone about it and, and in a way get it out of my system I wasn't going to get over the, the fear of failure myself and start that next step to to sort of getting back on track and, and, and being successful again. So even though that was really quite hard at the time, it gave me a small step forward into sort of moving my, my game or, or conquering the, the sort of things that I felt were sort of holding me back or worrying me at the time. So it was a very small little step forward, but you know, you would have heard that you, know, you just keep taking those little small steps and eventually you, you reach your goal. Um, so yeah, that was just a, a personal lesson um, that I was um, sort of went through myself and um, certainly made a big difference to me. So um, yeah, never be afraid to ask people and, and, and speak to people about it. Um, there's always people there that are willing to help around mental issues. Um, and quite often there's people that are wanting to be spoken to too. So yeah, don't keep things to yourself. Just put your hand up and there's always people there willing to help you. Yeah.